from the vivid pink of watermelon to the pastel shades of ice cream, pink is a naturally appetizing color and it's the inspiration for today's Mela menu. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is something that is very close to my heart. Uh, we have all had family affected by cancer, including myself. And this week's feature, I'm going to be incorporating pink into my theme and my recipes. I'm going to be starting with our lemon madeleines and these are going to be surrounding our berry coconut cake, which I'll be showing you guys how to do next. So for our madeleines, I'm going to first pop in our eggs one at a time. And now we're going to add in our caster sugar slowly and we're going to begin to beat the eggs. Beat your eggs till they're light in colour and nice and frothy. I'm now going to pop in some milk that's been mixed with some honey into our melted cooled butter. And you want to scrape in all of that honey. This is a really important flavour for Madeleines. Once your milk and your honey is mixed into your melted cooled butter, pour all of your mixture into your beaten eggs. We're going to fold this in gently. Now I'm going to fold in my flour in two batches and in my flour I've got the zest of one lemon. Make sure that there aren't any lumps and that your flour is incorporated really well. So I've also got some baking powder in my flour and that's just going to give our little madelines a good rise when they're baking. I'm going to in the second batch. It's, it's quite important to put in your flour uh, baking powder mixture to fold that in in two batches because if you had to pour in all of it, you're going to lose a lot of the air that you've incorporated into your egg mixture. And secondly, you may not be able to get a, a well incorporated batter if you had to pour in all your flour at once. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge to set. For our berry and coconut cake, I'm gonna get some cream on the heat for our white chocolate ganache. Keep this on a low so that it can heat up. And then the rest of the ingredients that we need are some butter, some icing sugar, and some frozen raspberries that are allowed to actually defrost so it gets nice and liquid. And this is keeping with our pink theme and this is gonna go into our buttercream. So for our white chocolate ganache, I've got some white chocolate here that's broken up into pieces. I'm gonna add in our cream, which is nice and hot. Pop that in. I'm gonna pop this mixture back into our pot. And this is to just make sure that it melts quite nicely and gets nice and smooth. I've got the ganache on low heat and I'm gonna whisk this till it's nice and smooth. It will take about a minute or so. As you can see, it's got a nice runny smooth texture. Pour all of the white chocolate ganache into your glass bowl. Next up, we're gonna do our berry buttercream. We're gonna add our butter, which is softened, into our mixing bowl our icing sugar, all of it all at once. And we're gonna beat this up really well. This is the traditional buttercream that I'm beating up and it's just made with butter and icing sugar and you can flavor it in a variety of ways. The consistency is really important. You need it to be nice and light in color and fluffy and all of your icing sugar could be, should be incorporated into the butter very well. I'm gonna fold in some of our raspberries and these raspberries have just been frozen and defrosted. Pop that in, give that a nice fold. Raspberries and lemon are a classic combination. I've added in the coconut, which is a little bit of an Indian twist to it. So I've put on my first layer of my coconut cake and I'm just gonna grab my raspberry buttercream. I'm gonna add on a little bit of this buttercream into the center back and I'm just gonna spread this out really well. Next layer on, press that down a little bit. More of our raspberry buttercream. Spread this out. I'm going for the naked cake effect, so there's not gonna be a ton of icing on the outside. As you can see, our icing is quite soft and this is important. It keeps the cake 
moist. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge to set while I grab my Madeleine batter. Madeleines are little French tea cakes and its distinct shape is that of a seashell, as you can see here. But we're gonna scoop in about a heap tablespoon of mixture into each of these little shell molds. And we're gonna bake this at 180 degrees Celsius in a preheated oven for about six to eight minutes. I've got the white chocolate ganache that we've made earlier and it's now cooled and thickened. And we're gonna drizzle down a little bit of the ganache on the sides to create a drip effect. We're just gonna drizzle on some at the top. I'm gonna dust our madelines with a tiny bit of icing sugar. And we're gonna surround the cake with some of our madelines. Just put them next to each other. And we're gonna go all the way around the cake. So I'm just tying on the ribbon and making a nice bow. So for our salad dressing for our grapefruit, watercress and basil salad, I've got some grapefruit juice on the go here. And I'm gonna put in some lemon juice. And I'm gonna pop in red chilies. That's just dried red chilies. And we need this to reduce and let the sugars come through. I'm just gonna pour in some olive oil. I'm gonna top the salmon with some pistachio that's just been crushed. Put in a little bit of butter to add some richness. I'm just gonna pop this straight into the oven. So our salmon is getting cooked in the oven and I'm gonna get our creamy polenta ready. So switch on the heat, pour in some milk, add in some salt, some black pepper, and stir continuously. So I've switched off the heat and I'm gonna add in some Parmesan. And this just adds a lovely tang and creaminess to the polenta. So this is now ready. We're gonna just leave that as is. Next up, I'm gonna dress our salad. So I'm gonna pop in a little bit of the salad dressing into the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna grab our watercress and our radicchio. And we're gonna pop all of that in. Some fresh basil, some thinly sliced red onion, the star of the show, our grapefruit segments. We're just gonna toss this through lightly. I'm gonna pop some of our grapefruit salad onto the plate that we're gonna be serving our salmon on. A few more grapefruit segments. So next up, I'm gonna add some of this creamy polenta, just a little bit on the side, and this is gonna be a bed for our Norwegian salmon. Fennel completed the plating of Kirti's pink ribbon inspired meal.